Hello to everyone of Rad Random Gaming. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you are, well, thank you for watching and please enjoy this video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit the notification, subscribe and share and like and all of that fantastic, jolly good stuff. This is another, another, this is another one of those Rad Random Gaming videos, but not gaming. Let's just say it's a random video, because that's what it is, of the World War II history of Shetland. This is a World War II bunker, and it just sits here, ever since the war, just overlooking Lurwick. Just, this is the view you have from here. You can see all over there with Lurwick. You can't see here because of the hill in the way. And then you've got pretty much more Lurwick itself. You know, mainly where, well, mainly where people live, as you can see. And over there as well. So from here, you can pretty much see most of Lurwick. So, and you can really see the, you know, the advantage and the tactical overview and sight, oversight, um, the, the position that, you know, the uh, British military were going for here when they placed this bunker where they did. And to me, this is amazing that it still sits here fairly well intact you know it's cracked it's chipped it's looking a bit knackered but it is still here undoubtedly and it is still standing and to me that's that is just amazing in every possible way um just making sure the camera's recording because i don't trust technology i still don't get along with computers so i was actually intending to take along with uh, t t t sorry, take a look inside uh, the bunker here. There is a uh, someone there has, or some people, or whoever has um, forcibly gained access through someone placing wooden panels over the top. And it looks like there's actually another way in there. Um, I didn't actually know. I know that um, they've been boarded up to stop people from getting inside. Uh, people keep busting their way in anyway and there is actually a door here but yeah that's actually still boarded up as you can see so but people always try and bust their way in but as it is I could probably get in here a lot easier a lot more comfortable than I could anywhere else so before I do that just take a look at this thing from the outside and you can see here where the grass has overgrown it yeah you can also see on top there the the air filtering tubes or holes to keep a clean and uh, good air good air inside good clean air and again it's just for me it's really amazing to see this thing still sitting here and it's almost quite sometimes quite sad to think that it still sits here just doing what it does and just does nothing. It was built for a purpose, its purpose is gone, but it is still here. There's also over here, which I kind of found hard to describe, looks like a crater. Now at first I thought by looking at this and then looking back at the bunker itself, it perhaps was a bomb or something dropped during the war or something but I don't know but that that admittedly could be a number of people's first fault including mine I honestly don't know and until I have a another idea in my head or someone suggests something different that's probably what I'm gonna perhaps I'm not I'm not saying that's what it is but that that's what I'm gonna keep thinking because you've got a massive crater which looks like it was definitely caused by something near a World War two bunker so putting two and two together you do come to that simple and the perhaps simplest conclusion so let's take a look inside the bunker itself because I uh, I have been in here once before because I, I just, just discovered it over the hill and thought really that's just sitting there you know Shetland is littered with World War II bunkers and it's it's amazing it really is amazing but it's also sad that the way they are just sort of lost and forgotten and disrespected. So we'll take a look inside here. 
Uh, should be able to crawl through this hole. Okay, as you can see, for whatever reason, people make a mess of this place. In no way is it respected. Hang on, let me just get this torch on, making sure this torch is on the right setting, which it is. It's a very bright torch, very powerful. And let's take a look down here. And again, you have an idea of what this place would have been used for. It's a an outpost. Uh, perhaps the bunker in my previous video was more of weapon storage and I imagine more like um, come to think of it because this bunker isn't too far from the last one I made a video of. This bunker would have perhaps been more an outpost and the other one would have been more the um, troops barracks for sleeping and more eating purposes that sort of thing and this one isn't too far from the other the other bunker anyway so you know I suppose that makes a bit of sense and as you can see this thing is very much still still standing and there was a you, you probably could get out that way but maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But it's just a bloody mess down here, seriously. In no way is this a good thing, is this a nice thing. And whatever was in here, looks like something was in there. Uh, I don't know what would have been down there. But it's perhaps another, I believe. Last time I came down here, there wasn't so much rocks and rubbish and crap in the way. So that's probably a lower part of the bunker itself, which I cannot get to. Which actually... Oh, hang on, is this it? Yeah, another lower part of the bunker. So it just leads down here, which would have been another part. Uh, I don't really. I don't have no idea where, or what would have been here. What would, what this other corridor would have been. But you can see there's another door there, that has been boarded up to keep people out. But people find their way in anyway. And well, again you can see the the air the air holes keeping air flow good. There's a spider web there. I'm not too keen on spiders. It's not so much the spiders, it's more the web. It's sometimes it's the web that scares me. It's just, oh god, it's horrible, just cringe. And it's, I don't like spider webs. And so you've got the light coming in, you've got the air. And I imagine over here would have been a ladder of some kind to gain much easier access climbing up and down here rather than what I'm going to have to do in a minute is more physically monkey climb my way back up which is not the best thing so you can see how people just make a mess of this of this uh, historical um, piece of time uh, there's a bit of board there that has obviously been smashed through uh, I'm not even sure what that is. I'm assuming something to do with barbecues or fireworks or whatever. Now that looks like fireworks. You can tell that's fireworks straight away. And beer cans, one thing over. And as you can see, it's. I understand that the war is always going to be a thing where it's a lesson, but also something that people generally want to forget. But that doesn't mean it has to be disrespected like this, for whatever reasons. Uh, so, if it was up to me, I would definitely say that people have to do something to respect it more. I think it's actually got slightly worse shape ever since I came here, because I don't remember this hanging down from the ceiling. 
uh, the steel because you've got the concrete which is I think perhaps reinforced steel and then you've got these like the steel that is actually rusting away it's just a mess it's actually that goes all underneath and sort of over the top of the concrete but you can see how that's just how that is just falling apart it's, it's just falling apart here so actually I actually hear someone coming I'm going to have to be really really quiet Hear someone outside with a dog. Because generally, I don't think you're supposed to be in here. That's why it's boarded up. You are not supposed to be in here, but the other World War II bunker isn't boarded up. And there are others on Shetland that are not boarded up. So, you know, it is a little bit like, you know, why is this one boarded up? I'm not entirely sure. And I wish that dog would go away. I'm not being rude or anything, but come on, dog, please go away. Bad dog. Just, you know, it's really irritating. Bloody dog. You know what? I don't really care whether I'm supposed to be in here or not. I ain't making a mess of this place. And uh, I'm not disrespecting it. I'm sort of, you know, uh, cataloging it, if I'm pronouncing that word right, you know, making a, a mark of it and respecting it and treating it how you would expect. What I do wish that dog would go away. I'm fine. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> ah, there is the dog. <laughs> I was uh, just making a video of the bunker, that was all. <laughs> so, yeah, there is the dog, you know. Never mind. Whether you're supposed to be down here or not is another thing, but I don't. I'm not particularly bothered, but that is the World War II bunker, and hopefully Oscar the dog will go away shortly. Hang on, I'm gonna just for the fun of it climb out of the other exit, just so you can see how this works. Um, at the moment in time, anyway. There's so many rocks. Hopefully no spider webs. Hate spider webs. Turn my claw, torch off. Oh god. And there you go. <laughs> Good, I was making a video of it. Right. Uh, I'm here. Come on. Come on, stop by. Ah, oh, forget it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think my video has been interrupted. Well, that is the World War II bunker of Shetland and I'm going to be shortly cutting this video. Are you, are you finished? Come on then, Thank you. I will shortly be cutting this video. That is, one of the, that is another of the World War II bunkers 
from Shetland and I hope you have enjoyed this rad random gaming or not gaming for this particular video and if you haven't already please like subscribe share and hit the notification button and until next time this has been another rad random gaming video until next time thank you for watching <laughs>